Hi, welcome to Christine's Corner. I'm so glad you came to join us. Um, we have a returning guest, uh, Peter Peluso, to my right. Hi, Pete. Hi, how are you doing, Christine? Uh, great. Good. I'm so glad you came back. Um, we always enjoy your uh, accordion playing. Thank you. And you always bring someone that you're going to talk about, about mm -hmm. in the accordion. Yep. So who would that be today? Today, it's gonna, um, the music uh, of Charlie Mignotti. It's not a, he's not a household word like a Myron Florin was back in the day, but he was very, very big in the accordion world. Anybody who played the, if anybody out there listening, if, uh, uh, played the accordion, they'll know who he is. Because oh. he's just wrote so many arrangements and recordings and, uh, and uh, didn't do too much. I don't think he ever did too much TV appearances, but, but he was definitely, but he has some YouTube, there are some YouTube uh, films of him. Oh, they're still out that yeah. you can watch. Oh. So, yeah, so what I wanted to do is show you that, because he was very prolific in that he just read, he, he arranged and composed in so many different styles, and I'm going to try to do that. Yeah, I was going to ask you what, yeah. what did he do? Yeah, huh? and it's, he it's mostly arrange do. more smaller, shorter works, you know, uh, no, no big concertos with orchestra and stuff like that, but mostly solo works, duets maybe for the instrument. Oh, okay. Hey. Wow. So I can't wait to hear. Sure. Okay. And my my thing went off here. There oh. we go. But we'll, of course. We'll get back. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's here what we it go. Goes. You know, if you leave it, go too long. Okay. First of all, a really well-known piece. It's, it's called, of, of, of all things, it's called Accordiana. Oh. <laughs> so here's Accordiana by Charlie Mignotti. Okay. Carousel music. Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, and, and that was very typical of the writing of for a lot of courtiness at this at that particular point in time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, the next I'd like to show because this is something he did a lot of took show tunes, but just in you know he arranged them like simple you know and straightforward, but he also made like little fantasies out of them. This is this is uh, his arrangement of T for two. Um, which are from the show No No Nanette. I was, oh, you remember that yes, one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's, uh, but it's, and he, of course, you have the main melody, but he also develops it in, in very, a lot of, several different styles. So this is T for, T for Two by Charlie Mignotti. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, I, I like wonderful, that. Wonderful, just wonderful, wonderful composing and arranging, you know, so it's good. I can hear, yeah, extra music in there. Yeah, there, and he put the verse, he, in the middle there, there was the verse to the song. That's why you might not recognize that. And uh, then, then went back to the main yes, melody. Yeah, yes. That's what mm -hmm. that was. This one, this one I actually saw him play once. Wow. Yeah. This, uh, again, taking a, a folk song, it's Casey Jones, if you remember. Yes. The, about the, 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 the locomotive engineer. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of a folk song. And he, 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 this is his arrangement of it. I actually saw him do this. You know, uh, I'm not going to do the things. He, he, he did a lot, a lot of control, but I, I'm, wow. not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's it. Casey Jones, the brave engineer. Okay. <laughs> Just a, it's a, just like a train. Yeah, we always we, 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 <laughs> yeah we, we always love doing that. Yeah, <laughs> quite control to be able to do that. Yeah, too. how long have you been doing the playing the? Oh, party? I started when I was seven. Okay. So you don't have to give your age. No, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna go there. It's been a while. <laughs> it's it's okay, but you know, but no, yeah. I've been playing. Uh, and then kind of stopped for a while because I got into the choral and conducting and the voice and musical theater and everything else, and then. Uh, I got back into it the last 10 years or so, and it's been fun seeing, doing all this stuff again. Yeah. And, and actually learning new pieces, I've whole, whole pieces I've never done before, you wow. know, of, of his, you know, his, because uh, he was so prolific. You know, it's, um, for example, this next example, he lived from 1910 to, to nine, yeah, born in 1910, and he died in 1986. So he was, this was like the golden age of accordion, you know, uh, in, in, in that particular time. But one of the things, especially in the 1930s and 40s, if you look at the old music, you know, there was Spanish music 
Spanish music was very popular. And so he picked up on, he has a number of Spanish pieces that he's, he's arranged. This is, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this as correct, it's uh, uh, Gitaneras. It's by uh, Ernest, Ernesto Lacona, who was actually a compl classical composer, but he composed in this Spanish style. Huh. And so, wow. this is, um, so this is his, uh, his arrangement of G uh, um, uh, Gitaneras from uh, the Andal Andalusia Suite. Uh, okay. That's hard. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Spencer, of course, he did other ethnic music, a lot of Italian music, and you know, uh, oh. pretty much a, yeah, a lot of Italian and um, some Irish. Oh, Irish too. Wow. Yeah, he did some. Yeah, you know, wow. but it, this was kind of an ethnic, yeah. ethnic, you know, music uh, that he brought to this. One of the things, the next piece I'd like to do is it's called Soffagetto. It's really a piano, it's a keyboard piece, oh. but he arranged it for the accordion. Wow. This is where one of the things he did a lot of is taking classical pieces and. Um, arrange them for the instrument where, where it was possible of course it's not always everything's not always possible right. this is written by cpe bach he's one of johann sebastian bach's 21 children <laughs> 21 children yeah. yeah wow i didn't know that yeah. wow. he went through three wives to do oh yeah <laughs> but, I say that part but, uh, yeah. person. this is and this is uh people who play the piano will probably recognize this piece you know all right soffagetto okay Thank <laughs> you. 
The next, this is very typical, the next piece I'd like to play, uh, it's titled Green Light, as, as you can see on, on the, it's, it, it's novelty, which is pretty much what he did a lot of novelty numbers, except for pieces like the last one I just played. This is uh, Green Light, it's an original piece, okay, uh, he wrote this, ah. and it describes, because he, he lived in New York City, he was born and raised and lived in New York City most of his life, so this is kind of like oh. if you were taking a taxi cab ride, this is what it, you know, this is what it, this, musically, this is what it would it be right, like. Right. Okay. So anyway. The last one sounds like they were running a lot. So. Yeah. <laughs> but this, yeah, and of course you'll, you'll, you'll hear it right from the beginning, the taxi horn, you know, so uh -huh. what, it, what it is, so. Okay. okay. So here we go. Green light. Green light. <laughs> I definitely, uh, I'm glad you told me this story that it was from Taxi because um, I could hear the you hear story. The you hear yes. the horns and, and the horns and yeah. people getting in and out and what kind of person came yeah, in. Yeah, and it's kind of okay and it goes along and then yeah. and it's like <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah, and there's the, the part where it slows down, there's he actually has descriptions in the music. Oh. And and the, and the description is like, you know, when it was like, ba -da, ba -da. it's supposed to be you're at a red light and there's music from a nightclub. Oh. That's what that's, oh, okay. you know. It, it was an excuse with to put some jazz in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, but that's that's typical. He has a number of pieces like this, you know, that are novelty numbers that are descriptive, which is very common amongst at that particular time. I don't know if you've heard of Lee, you know Lee Roy Anderson was doing similar stuff, and that was telling stories was, in the music. It, yeah, exactly. And so, okay, here's one of his. This is a classic, more of a classical piece. You know, which was an original. This was this, this he wrote this specifically for the accordion. It's okay. called Waltz Allegro. Okay, and um, 
So I'm assuming it's a waltz dance. Then, yeah. Since yeah, it would be. It's, yeah. Makes it's, sense. Yeah. He doesn't stray too far from that um pa pa, but you know, oh, it, but, it, but, okay. but it's more of a classical style okay. sound. just a wonderful piece you know and it's yeah. a, and it's very you know um, it's kind of a classical style so yeah we got a couple of minutes we can play another yeah, yeah. sure we can in fact he was also it's kind of a jazz musician too huh. was, it wasn't a hardcore jazz musician but he, he played in that jazz he, he did play in a jazzy style this is his um, you know like to finish up with uh, the accordion boogie how cool yeah this I is like this is an original but uh, but um, uh, and, and it's written for the accordion, of course. Yes. And, uh, so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought, oh, that's just definitely just You're make good. you do the boogie. <laughs> going, yay! <laughs> yeah, that's the whole idea. That, and of course, that was very typical of stuff that was going on during that whole time in which he lives. You know, we, we played a lot of boogie woogie when we yeah, were kids. You know? Yeah, yeah, that was well, great. Not in my ear, but yeah, yeah. we still did. <laughs> yeah, we still loved it. Uh, yeah, I think it's still it's still popular. When kids, yeah. when I, I noticed when I introduced something like this to young students. They, oh, they grasp it right away. Oh, yeah. 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 They, they get in the swing of things right away. Well, thank you, Pete, for coming and come back again, please. I hope so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And thank you for joining Christine's Corner. I'll see you again next week. Love you. The Saybrook Fish House in Canton has been serving fresh seafood, chicken, and steak entrees for 34 years, offering three cozy dining room settings, a newly renovated pub with craft beer, wine by the glass, specialty cocktails, and a lighter fare menu. Open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Reservations accepted for parties of 2 to 42, and gift certificates are also available. The Saybrook Fish House, nestled at the crossroads of Route 44, 202, and 179 in Canton.